welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally once again doing a vlog. Is that not a rare sight or what? But today guys, I actually flew all the way from San Diego then landed in Texas and then caught another plane all the way to Chicago and then after that flew all the way out to Michigan. And let me say, it took me a while to get my bags. My poor friends were waiting around forever and um, it took like four to five hours of waiting at the airport till I finally got my bag. And then we had this really cool plan to go to this beautiful little hidden island which we are still going to do tomorrow and I'm going to show you guys tomorrow but somehow I ended up at Great Wolf Lodge. Oh my gosh, that's the water park. Actually, that looks so fun. Okay, so we got our Great Wolf Lodge ears. Look at them. Aren't they cute? They are so cute. We look good in them. We look good. <laughs> they have so much cute stuff in this gift shop. I feel like it matches your outfit, so like you're kind of destined to. They have these little guys. I used to collect the TY plushies. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get the pink imposter. It might have been too far up though, honestly. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, that looks really good. Oh no! You almost had that. You almost. That was a perfect grip too. Oh my gosh. Oh hi, Sammy the squirrel. I have never met Sammy the squirrel. Well, wow. yeah. thank you, Sammy, for saying hi to the to the vlog. The fit is everything. Finally, about to head up to the island and I'm so excited because we've been at Great Wolf Lodge for a little bit and then today we almost didn't get a taxi. It was scary because we have to go two hours up and then catch a boat and it's gonna be an entire mission. So we ended up finding a taxi that took us all the way up to where we needed to head and it was so snowy outside. I can't remember the last time I saw this much snow. And then we ended up crossing this bridge that was kind of scary. It was really, really high up and it was super windy outside so it was kind of dangerous to take the bridge. We made it to the boat. We're about to sail, right? We're about to be cold. We are cold. We both have earmuffs right now. <laughs> and it's actually gorgeous up here, but we're going to go hibernate inside of here in a minute. So we rode the boat all the way over to the island. And honestly, this was such an amazing experience. Yes, it was super, super cold, but at least I was with my best friend and we were making memories that I will never forget. So we eventually got to the city and it was so peaceful and quiet. There was not a lot of people there and you had to take horse carriages to get around everywhere you went since there was no cars. We actually ended up renting out bikes so we can get around the island and go to the market to get snacks and food. And of course, cause that was the only way to get around the island, we had to ride our bikes all around to see the pretty sights and take in the views. We rode through some really long trails and we eventually wanted to head up to this really scenic spot. So we rode the bikes up for quite a bit, almost around a mile-ish honestly, all the way to a very old spot on the island called the Arch Rock. So right behind me is the Arch Rock. I could not believe how gorgeous this view was. Honestly, the water was so clear and the view was just so stunning. Like take a look at this view guys, it was so photo perfect. Oh I look cute. You do. We of course had to take some cute videos and photos over here and just take into the view because it was such a bike ride to get up to see this arch rock, but it was so worth it. It's so cool. What? That's a perfect snowflake. I That's know. why I caught it and I named it Jerry. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, 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 Jerry! Jerry no! No! Jerry. That was a perfect <laughs> snowflake. So I ended up walking up all these stairs to get different views of the area and check out the arch rock of course a little bit more and it started snowing while we were up there. So we ended up biking back early because it was getting super cold. Oh, we were waiting for snow this entire trip and finally right now it is actually snowing outside. Look at it. Yeah, it's look like at that guys. It's actually snowing. I cannot believe it finally started to snow. I can't remember the last time I saw snow like this. It felt like I was in a little snow globe. It was honestly so magical, especially because it was Christmas time. I haven't wanted to see snow like this for years. After it started snowing, we decided to take this really pretty bike ride up to see the Christmas lights around town because all the locals decorated their houses super pretty for Christmas time. And I can't believe I'm posting this vlog so late. Like it is not Christmas anymore, but they had the cutest Christmas village. Look at how pretty everything was. It felt like we're 
the main character of a Hallmark Christmas movie, I'm not gonna lie. We ended up getting these super cute cupcakes from the market, and we made some delicious hot chocolate that had little snowman marshmallows. It was so tasty. The next day, we called a horse carriage to actually bring us off the island. It was snowing the day we left, which was kind of funny, because we were waiting for snow the whole trip, and of course, the day that we finally decide to leave, it began snowing like crazy. That's crazy. We wanted snow the whole trip, but nope, the day we leave. I can't believe how much it was snowing, guys. Look at all the snow. So right now we are finally leaving the island and it is snowing like crazy. Look at this. This whole like town is filled with snow and I have not seen snow in a minute. So I want to see if I can actually like, can I make a snowball? Look at that. It's like a little snowball. It'd be so fun to build a snowman or something. Also, I want to mention I wasn't wearing pants while walking through all this snow because I'm actually crazy, but that's fine. I'm having a good time. I feel like the locals thought I was absolutely crazy for walking in a skirt around in the snow like this, but you know what? I was the main character and I never get to see this kind of weather, so I was just having fun. Before you knew it, it was the next day. We had to catch our flight all the way to Minnesota. Here was the view. Look at all the snow beneath the plane, guys. I could not believe it. Okay, so we finally got to Minnesota, and it's so crazy. I literally have not been back to Minnesota since the eighth grade, and um, it's kind of nostalgic seeing it. We're going to the Mall of America. We only have a little bit to get ready because we only have a few hours till it closes at like nine o'clock, and I'm so excited. I haven't been there since I was a kid, and that was like my favorite place in the freaking world, so. We're gonna get ready and go out to the Mall of America and um, I'm gonna show you guys why I loved it so much as a kid. Look at this view, I can see Minneapolis right there. And then I can see SpongeBob. Looking double caked up on a Tuesday night. He looking pretty thick. The Mall of America had so many cool rides. This was actually called Nickelodeon Universe. I went here all the time as a kid. They had tons of rides. They had an M&M factory. The views were insane. I just love the theme park so much. There's so many cool shops and stores. They have Crayola, Rainforest Cafe, and tons of things to see and do. The next morning, I ended up getting a caribou coffee because we didn't have those back home. And I just took in the views of Nickelodeon Universe because I missed it so much. Going to more stores because shopping is really fun, okay? Sometimes you gotta spoil yourself. This mall never fails to amaze me, for real. There's a Lego land, like, come on, guys. Look at how beautiful this mall is. I, of course, went to do some more shopping, though. There was this really cool anime store we went to, and, of course, this cotton candy place called Opa Sweets, where me and my friends all decided to get super cute cotton candies and take some fun photos and videos with them. I felt really bad for eating this bear that I got, but, I mean, it was so tasty, so how could I not? Then that night, me and my best friend Alex decided to walk around the theme park. We rode a few rides, and we did some more shopping. I somehow managed to stroll into a Build-A-Bear and I kind of lost my mind finding this little purple bunny. Like, come on guys, it was so cute. How could I not? So of course I ended up caving in and I got it, all right? I just really wanted a Build-A-Bear for some reason, okay? Don't judge me. You know, I'm 23 and yes, I can still make Build-A-Bears. Then I went shopping and I found these really cute dresses. I wanted to get something cute to take some fun photos in. So I found this pink dress and this black star dress and I caved in and I got both of them because I thought they were cute. Then I decided to stroll around the mall some more and take a look at different stores and then we decided to get some dinner at Sugar Factory. This place was so, so good. We got these really cool sodas with this dry ice in it. Yeah, this is not alcohol, it's a soda, okay? And it was so tasty. And they had all sorts of gummy candies inside of them. Honestly, like I could have drank like 10 of those, but that was a lot of sugar. But just wait till you guys see what we ordered for food, okay? Yep, this is our table. This is all the food we ordered. We got rainbow cheeseburgers, french fries. I got Alfredo and chicken. Like this was the most food I've seen in in such a long time guys but it was so delicious we decided to do some last minute shopping at Legoland before the mall closed down and they had so many cute things okay guys so we are currently together in the bathtub <laughs> don't ask why okay don't ask don't why, ask why. Don't, no questions why, why, but why, why are you in the bathtub don't don't ask why, why. Don't ask why. Don't ask. all right all right continue continue um, so we're doing a bathtub haul because we bought some cute things. So Alex, do you want to show everybody what you got? So uh, this is what I got. I, I got I got a lot of cute anime stuff. And anime I got stuff. a oh, hamster. Hamsters. Hamsters. That's cute. And, and look at this more Voldemort. It's so cool. cute. And I got a oh, total oh. hoodie. I got a bunny to take with me up to the mountains. I named it Bunny Bon Bon. I want a rabbit really bad. So I went to build a bear and I made her. And then, and then, and then I got this. 
pink jacket. This one with the stars on it. And last but not least, I got Ooh. a guest shirt because it had rhinestones on it. So before you knew it, we were on the next plane headed all the way to Lake Tahoe. I was so excited for this because I've always wanted to go there. Alright, so we just arrived in Tahoe and we got a cute little hotel room. Are you guys excited? Yeah! <laughs> no! Yes, what? Right. Okay, well this place is cute. I want to show you guys outside how like high up we are on the floor of this hotel. Look how high up we are. It's giving me a little bit of anxiety. Imagine falling that far. Imagine I drop my camera. Look at the elevator! Look at that! Yeah, I don't want to fall off of this balcony. That would really suck. But I'm so excited for tomorrow morning. There is so much snow here. It's absolutely gorgeous. The flight in was beautiful, except for this lady on the plane took my Build-A-Bear away from me. Alex, let me back into the What's hotel. the pass? The password? The password. Mean flight lady. <laughs> <laughs> Justice for my rabbit, Bunny Bon Bon. She was taken away from me on the flight by a mean flight lady. I got some purple snow pants. I'm gonna try these on and see how funny I look. We both have dresses over our snow pants and boots. The hotel we stayed at in Lake Tahoe was honestly so pretty. Look at the view from the elevator. There was tons of nature-like scenes all around the hotel and this pretty koi fish pond, which I thought was super cool. And it just gave me cottage vibes all around. It was called the Lake Tahoe Resort Hotel. All right, so right now we are walking over to the ski lift. This is gonna be so cool. I've never been on a ski lift before. Here's where we board for the ski lift. I'm a little nervous right now. Like this looks like it's gonna go like pretty high up in the air. So we went up the ski lift and the views were just so stunning. I honestly was a little bit nervous of this because heights can be kind of scary, but I think the view was definitely worth it. All right, so we made it off the ski lift and the views up here are seriously the most gorgeous thing I might have ever seen in my life, okay? This and Hawaii are coming close to the number one spot, but it is so pretty up here. Look at how gorgeous the view was from up here, guys. The lake was so big and it was cool to see all the snow on top of the hills. Okay, so it's a little bit later and I'm going to try to find some ski attire because we're gonna try to go skiing and I've never been before like actual skiing only in like gym class so I have this outfit but I kind of need snow pants so we're gonna see if I can find some warm winter snow pants or gloves and then we're gonna go up to the ski lift it's gonna be so exciting Okay, so we have all the snowboards here me and my friends are ready to go up the hill and try our first time at snowboarding but um I'm probably gonna fall a lot and it's gonna be pretty funny. And it's snowing so much right now. Right now, I'm riding a ski lift. I'm riding it alone. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. Look how high up I am. Oh my goodness. So I made it up the mountain and there was a mean lady on that thing who yelled at me because I fell. And now I'm scared. I'm scared to um, go down this mountain because I'm really bad at this. This is my first time and everyone's yelling at me. <laughs> I'm not built for this. I made art. What should we name it? Comment in the comments down below. Is this Angel or is this a teddy bear? Honestly though guys, you gotta give me credit. Like what? I never thought I would actually do it. I was so excited, but I was pretty bad at it. One thing I learned after this, I am never ever snowboarding again. I am horrible and that was the most painful two hours of my life. But you know what? At least I tried it. <laughs>